so in this video i would like to show you how to differentiate between capsulotomy and capsulorexis now here for this technique uh, you need one cc needle piece of paper and glass now put the piece of uh, paper on the glass uh, and now consider it anterior capsule now you are giving these vertical cuts into the anterior capsule and then you have to connect each other one by one this is also known as can opener technique that's how you open the cans so it's just a demonstration for the beginners how to do anterior capsulotomy in extra capsular cataract extraction so anterior capsule looks just like here you will see many tears in the anterior capsule the margins of the capsulotomy will be ragged they can extend and cause PCR if you perform fecal emulsification in such cases so these are reserved for extra capsular cataract extraction now again you put the piece of paper on the glass and with one cc needle now you just <coughs> start from the center of the anterior capsule make a straight line and then put the cystotome beneath it and now you give a forward force and elevate the flap that is the most important step of capsulotomy <clears throat> then you have to move the flap in either direction and if it elevates uh, you should come out uh, put visil on and then make uh, the flap lie on the anterior capsule and slowly and gradually complete the central curvilinear capsulorexis this technique is done in phaco emulsification the margins are round there are no tears now you can also learn capsulotomy and capsulorexis on the plum we have taken the plum but as its capsule is hard so you should use the cystotome made of 5 cc needle so you give vertical tears into the anterior capsule 360 degree and then you connect each one with the next one so that's how you perform anterior capsulotomy and uh, for capsulorexis you give the horizontal incision and then you have to evert the flap just like here we have done if you can make a flap then it's easy to move it 360 degree to complete the capsulorexis but the formation of this uh, flap is the most important step now here we have shown you the anterior capsulotomy you can see the ragged margins with multiple tears into the anterior capsule so that's how anterior capsulotomy looks in a patient so beginners can practice on the plums as well now here once again we have shown you that uh, 
the flap elevation the flap creation is the most important step in the capsular axis and after that you should move the leading edge slowly and gradually if it raises come out put the visil on put the gel viscoelastic make the flap lie again and then move it slowly and gradually and complete the capsular axis round and regular capsular axis can make your phaco emulsification very comfortable and easy so capsular axis is the most important step in phaco emulsification so here we have completed it now on the real cases i would like to show you we have stained it now horizontal tear and now here you can see we have elevated the flap after elevation now from the leading edge slowly and gradually we are doing the capsular axis you can complete it in one go or you can come out put visil on and then start again now with utrata in a hard cases in another in other direction so you can do capsule rexes with utrata and you can utrata is mostly used in hard mature cataracts as well as in pediatric congenital cataracts where the capsule is little bit resistant and fibrotic now again you have created the flap and then you have to rotate the flap 360 degree make sure that it doesn't get radial with utrata you have got more control as compared to cystotome for beginners always stain the anterior capsule now here again with the cystotome that's how slowly and gradually in very small steps you complete the capsular axis you can see how slowly i am doing it it should be round regular it should not be too much small and it should not be too much larger medium sized 5 to 5.5 mm so that's the last video a straight cut flap elevation now at any point if you think that uh, the anterior chamber is shallowing come out put gel and then start again you can clearly see slowly and gradually it gives you more command over capsular axis you can also practice on tomatoes for the capsular axis so that was all about the capsular axis i hope you you have learned thank you